Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Coming to the question number 7. Construct a push down automata that accepts the language a power n, b power 2n, where n is greater than or equals to 1. You can observe here b power it is 2n. So how to solve this one? That means first of all, I'll write the language l equals to. So if I take n value as 1, a for a single a 2b should come for 2s 4b is to come for 3s 6b is to come and one more thing you need to remember number of a's should followed by number of b's once you get b you can never find a so that is also one more thing you need to remember now how to solve this one what is the logic let us suppose uh, in our previous example if I have a power and b power and what I have done have whatever the number of a's you are getting you are pushing into the stack when you get b one for one b one a is popped like this it is matching now what we need to do here n to n how to match it what is the logic that you need to follow for this so you may think that one logic like whenever you get a you have to push it and for two b's you have to pop one a so seems like this might not be possible exactly of course I'll go for my way which can be easily understandable so here what I'll do is whenever I get single a instead of pushing single a I'll push 2s so whenever I get single a I'll push 2s so let us suppose if I get 3s how many a's I'll push into the stack 6s I'll push like this so whenever I get single a I'll push 2s for each a so like this the number of symbols in the stack will be when I, if I take three A's the number of symbols in the stack will be six now when it comes to B so for seeing six A's you need to match with six B's so this is a logic we need to follow so I'll construct here that means initially Z not here for single A when I find I have to push two A's so I'll write the logic here I'll write the transition diagram here from Q0 anyway first symbol must be A only not B so when I when it comes to A comma Z0 what I need to push for the single A I need to push 2s so what should I write like this if you write like this definitely it is wrong you can observe here already I told you A comma Z0 means you are removing Z0 out you are removing Z0 out and what you are pushing 2s you are pushing that means if what you are writing is like this you are missing Z0 here this is a major problem you will get so what you need to do is for single A you need to push 2s with Z0 like this you need to write now if you write A Z0 A comma Z0 slash A A Z0 means whenever I get A as let us suppose I will take this one whenever I get A top of the stack is Z0 I have to push A A Z0 that means Z0 you are taking out and you are pushing A A Z0 that means it will be like this A A Z0 now anyway I won't get B in the initial stages now what happens what is the next symbol A top of the stack is also A what you what should I do for a single A I need to push 2 S again if you write like this this also will become wrong why because you can observe here 1a here also 1a that means you are first removing a out that means how many a's are there now in stack only 1a why because you are removing it out and you are pushing 2s that means this a as well as this a will become that means again you have 3s actually we need to have 4s that means first 2s you need to have 4s so what is the correct statement that you need to write here is if you have a top of the stack is a you need to push 3s so how it will become true is for the second a if I take top of the stack is a what I am writing here you can observe a comma a that means you are taking this a out now what you are pushing 3s that means you need to push 3s 1 2 3s now you can check how many a symbols are there 1 2 3 4 now for 2s you received 4s now for the third a you can observe third a of course I'll put self loop here so what happens for 2s a comma a that means you can see third a a 
here top of the stack is a that means you are removing it a out and how many three a's you are pushing one two three a's now you can see how many a's you need to get for three a's you need to get six a's three four five six so like this it will match so after getting a's if you get b what you need to do simply b top of the stack is anyway a will be there then you need to pop it out one a only you are popping out like this so like this for each symbol b comma a you are popping out for six b's six a's are there so you are popping all out finally you need to get epsilon so here one by one here you will have epsilon here z naught then it will move to the q2 which is a final state so like this you need to answer the questions which is which are asked like a power n b power 2n like this so let us suppose if it is asked for a power n b power 3n how to solve you need to check it out that means for single a instead of pushing 2s you need to push 3s so so that you can match with the number of b's afterwards so like this the logic you need to follow for the questions asked like this we'll see the next question in the next video lecture thank you